Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here back again with a brand new video. Today we are going to be taking a look at how iOS 13.4.5 Developer Beta 1 has been on the iPhone SE. Before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyway, let's get right into the video. I've been running iOS 13.4.5 on my iPhone SE for a while now, and overall my experience has been pretty pleasant. iOS 13.4.5 released this past Tuesday bringing much needed bug fixes such as the inability to search with the plus sign in Safari and the settings crash when attempting to access Bluetooth settings using the haptic or forced touch quick actions menu. It also patches the security vulnerability introduced in iOS 13.4 when using a VPN could fail to secure data. With all that said, let's get straight into general performance iOS 13.4.5 runs pretty much the same as iOS 13.4. I've only noticed a very slight increase in stock app loading times. While it isn't anything to rush to upgrade for, every small improvement is welcome. Whether you're playing a game, browsing the web, listening to music, or watching YouTube, the iPhone SE on iOS 13.4.5 can handle it. As the iPhone SE only has 2GB of RAM, which is not a lot, I still have not noticed any issues with RAM management, which is also a good thing iOS in general has amazing RAM management, and iOS 13.4.5 is no exception. Animations have been great as well. I can't say there has been much of an improvement over iOS 13.4 as the animations were already extremely smooth, however I have noticed a slight increase in animation smoothness just like general performance. Animations such as swiping to access the notification and control centers, haptic pressing on apps, scrolling through the home screen, etc. are all very smooth. Before we get into battery life, I'd like to mention that my iPhone SE is holding a maximum battery capacity of 92% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled performance throttling in settings, meaning that my iPhone SE is not being throttled to prevent restarts and maintain battery life. Battery life has been pretty decent on my iPhone SE. When it comes to on-screen time, you can definitely pull off a full day with light to medium use while running iOS 13.4.5 Developer Beta 1. Now if you are a medium user, you could also manage to pull off a full day, but naturally you will end up with lower battery life by the end of the day. If you are a heavy user, I'd recommend keeping a spare charger with you, as you will most likely need to charge the phone throughout the day. Standby time has been greatly improved over iOS 13.4. In iOS 13.4, I'd notice a drain of about 10-15% overnight. Now on iOS 13.4.5, the drain is much less at about 8-9%. This is amazing to see and I'm glad this has been worked on. Overall, I have been very pleased with the first developer beta of iOS 13.4.5 on the iPhone SE, but should you update? If you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing beta firmware, I'd say go for it. Now if you're on iOS 12 or earlier and okay with installing beta firmware, I'd also say now is a good time to update if you want or need to. I will have a full review of iOS 13.4.5 developer beta 1 on the iPhone 7 coming very soon, most likely early next week. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out my Twitch where you can watch me live. And also check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.